Hello dear friends, everything is okay, are you alright? You are most welcome here to TNC TV official from where you can get knowledge of English. Have you ever asked yourself if I don't speak English fluently? I'm telling you here to TNC TV official, it is a short deal. We try to explain all of the lessons of English that within the shortest time you can make your English perfect. Guys, you have attended different classes but you didn't prevent to be fluent. Until now we are still having the challenges of communicating with the foreigners. This is the right opportunity for you. This year that is ongoing, that is going to end, I tell you that it's the year in which everybody should know English. Everybody who has subscribed to TNC TV official, everybody who follows the lessons to TNC TV official, get friends. It means within the shortest time with TNC TV official, following all of the lessons, dear friends, I'm telling you, you can be speaking English, you can listen to the Americans. You can listen to the English native, you can listen to the English British. So it means that we have prepared before creating this channel, we have prepared the package, full package of the skills, of course, of English. It means here to TNC TV official, we have the book that is called Get Knowledge of English. This is the book that I prepared for you. I make sure that everyone who is going to read, who is going to understand all of the lessons are found in this book, Get Knowledge of English, is going to be fluent, is going to speak English fluently. Because there is a line that can support you to understand the easiest way to know English. That line, that, 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 that we, we try to direct the people who want to know English for sure. Maybe you are beginner, maybe you are intermediate and you want to be advanced or you want to reach the highest level of English. So let me try to summarize, let me try to show you the contents you are going to follow content by content, lesson by lesson, and you reach where you don't have any problem about English. We have started by teaching the people the spelling of the letters. I think that until now, if it is not the first time, if really you have decided to follow the lessons, you can either spell the letters are found in English, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. I think that here everyone is either able to spell the letters are found in English, of course. I told you that uh, when you study, when you know the letters, you must start to learn the words. We have categorized the words into 10 ones, what they called 10 lessons. When I say 10 lessons, it means that all 10 kinds of words you can find in English. When you want to know English, guys, or dear friends, I mean, you must know 10 kinds of what? 10 kinds of words. Those 10 kinds of words, it's to know more about the people, to know more about the animals, to know more about the things, to know more about places, to know more about the times, to know more about the ideas or the activities. By here you finish Lesson number one, that is called, or category of the word number one, that is called noun. Hmm? Lesson number one is noun, okay? You must know nouns. If you want to know English, you must know more about the nouns 
of people, of animals, of things, of places, of times, of ideas. I think that when you know really more, more about this chapter number one that is called the nouns, it means that you have enough vocabulary. You have enough vocabulary. You know, when you have enough vocabulary uh, to introduce yourself in English, it is easy because when the time you meet the foreigners, when you meet the foreigners, the, the, the foreigners are speaking, they are speaking what you are understanding. When you are understanding what they mean and what they tell you, it means that it can be easy for you to make the beautiful sentences or to, to tell them what you want to tell. Now is a lesson number one, dear friends. So by here, let me focus on nouns. Let me show you the way you are going to study the nouns to make sure that you don't have any problem about the nouns. You are going to say, I'm the learner of English. It's the first time. Let me know more about the people. You start from the family. You start from the family. You say, how many people can you find in general in the family? Eh? In the family, you're going to find the parents, the children, the guests, the workers, hmm? the family. You have to know the family. Eh? Eh? The family is made up of parents, father and mother, children, first born, second born, third born, and the last born. For instance, the guest, the guest may be uh, some, some, some relatives of yours may, uh, may, may have come to visit you and they remain to you. They don't want to get back uh, immediately because they want to visit you. Huh? They want, they want to, 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 to stay to you. You must know how they are called in English. Eh? By here, you start learning extended family. Extended family means grandfather, grandmother, uncle, uh, uncle, aunt, brother-in-law, uh, brother sister-in-law, okay, and so on. Those are the relatives. You have to know the relatives, how they are called in English. So, when you know more about the people, you are going to know, um, to know more about the animals. Animals, you have to know the Animals that are familiar to the people. There are some animals that can live with the people. Mm? You have to know domestic animals. And uh, the animals that are not familiar to the people. The, the animals that cannot live with the people. I mean wild animals. Wild animals also you have to know them. Because sometimes the foreigner may need you travel together eh, in, the, in the park or in the, in the forest. You can travel. When you are travel during the, the, the picnic, if you want to make fun in the park of the animals, you can go there being ready eh, to introduce all of the animals you are going to watch during your journey. After animals, you must know the things. Eh? When you start from the things you can you find at home, we have seen that you are at home. And eh? if it is the first time after building your house, eh, you are going to equip it by Putting in furniture after furniture is going to be utensils or kitchenware. After that, is going to be food and and drinks. After we are going to put crops. After crops, eh? you are going to go in the city. You buy electronic devices, guys. I think that by here, you know the important things. Eh, you must have at home. When you are talking with the foreigner, sometimes you may introduce the, the things you have at your home, at your house. So after things, you are going to study about, about what? About the places. Important places at your home. Can, you must know the, the chambers or the looms making your house. Eh? Riving room, sitting room or sitting room, uh, bedroom, corridor, uh, bathroom, kitchen room, uh, parents room, children room, and so on. Okay, you must know the places, important places at home, and you continue. After 
have seen uh, some uh, more uh, to know more about the times eh? second after second is minutes after minutes is how after hour is day after day is week after week is uh, is months after months is year after year is decade after decade is century after century is going to be millennium by here i think that uh, you know the times okay you know important times for you i can ask you can you tell me important times for you okay you get ready to tell me important times for you uh, after times i've seen ideas ideas all of the all of the beings you cannot touch cannot see eh? the sun beings cannot touch cannot see you, you cannot touch you cannot see for instance love eh? security cannot touch security you cannot touch it. Love, okay, I, untouchable, I'm not a concrete, I'm abstract, abstract nouns. All of the abstract nouns can call them uh, nouns of ideas. Eh? But here, you can also run the activities, activities. Mm? Traveling is activity, teaching is activity, running is activity, singing is activity, cooking, mopping, and so on. Those are the activities. I think that by here, when you know more about the nouns I'm telling you, your English day by day is getting good. Huh? It's getting good, okay? Try to respect this lesson that is called the nouns. Have to know the noun, guys. I told you several times that in English you can find six kinds of what? Six kinds of nouns. Until now, there is no comment that can contract what I say because uh, all of the followers I think that uh, most of them they have uh, attend different classes they have learned more about English so it's not the first time if so hmm, keep knowing more about it nouns to be fluent in English you're gonna see what is going to happen so after let me stop by here we'll continue with another video that is going to clear about the next lesson i love you guys if you have not subscribed please subscribe after subscribing you comment after comment after commenting you are going to to leave likes and you share if you are interested with others i love you so much i continue to wish you merry christmas and happy new year 2020 Four. Bye bye. See you next time.